Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. On this episode, let me show you how you can take 360 degree panoramic photos on your iPhone. So there are so many fun ways to use your camera on your iPhone, but a lot of people just stick with the standard photo. I mean, of course, you can do slow motion videos, you can do time lapse, all in the camera app. And then there are a ton of different apps that make photography really fun. One way that I have fun with using uh, my iPhone's camera is to take panoramas. And I'm going to show you today, I'm going to use as an example, the 360 Panorama app from Occipital. Um, and you could download that. Uh, it's currently $2 in the App Store. Of course, prices always vary in the App Store. Um, and there are lots of other 360 degree panorama apps as well. So you can search for one that uh, you like the best. Let me show you how to use this one. So I've taken my iPhone to the park and I'm going to use the 360 Pano app here and take a panorama. And it's simple. I'm just going to basically position uh, my iPhone's camera where I want to start. And I'm going to hit the Start button. And then I'm going to slowly turn. You can turn to the left or the right. And as I turn it automatically takes new pictures filling in the panorama. I don't have to press anything. I'm just actually moving my body very carefully. It helps if you've got friends or somebody with you to actually have them stand behind you so they don't get in the way. Then I'm going to angle up and capture more of the space. So a little bit above what I was capturing before. And I'm going to continue to circle around. It's easy to get dizzy doing this, uh, but uh, the result's worth it. And uh, now I've captured enough at the top, I'm going to go down below and capture more there. And it, see, it's seamlessly stitching these together. So it's putting them together in this panorama. And once I am finished, I hit the Done button to indicate I've taken all the sections I want to take. And then it's going to take a second there. And now I can see it instantly. I can use my finger to actually move the panel around. And I can also hit that button at the bottom that looks like a sphere to actually have the camera's, uh, the camera, uh, the picture move on its own as I move my iPhone around. So the app also keeps a library of all the panos that you've shot. So for instance, here's another one that I did of a different park. Um, and you can see here that you can capture things you normally couldn't. Like for instance, there's no way in a photograph I can get this full tower here. But in a pano I was able to. And you can see I even shot all the way up to the top here so I don't have a gap there at the top. Um, and it's not perfect. You can see imperfections here where it sits together. You can see that that, that sign right there, for instance. Uh, so it's not you know fantastic for professional use, but it's great for having fun and capturing the essence of a, a location that you're at um, in a way that a photograph can't. So you can see it's also easy to share these with people that don't even have the app. Uh, here I've emailed uh, the Pano and it comes up with this little preview here. And all I need to do is click here and it launches the website. And the website contains uh, basically a web app that allows me to view this panoramic. I can even change the view style if I wanted to. There's a lot of things you can do, and you can share it just as easily uh, using Facebook as well. So even if you don't think that 360 degree panoramics are your thing, Search the App Store. Find other photo apps in there. There's all sorts of interesting apps that will use your iPhone's camera in really cool ways. You've got a very expensive camera in your pocket, but it can do a lot more than an old-fashioned camera could. So look around and have some fun. Create some things using your iPhone's camera.